Welcome to Bethan's Kitchen and Garden. Today I've just received some bulbs from Taylor's Bulbs, which I, um, I met at the recent press event. And I've got some dahlias in here that I'm going to grow from tubers. So let's go and plant those up and I'll show you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to grow my tubers in pots. You can grow them directly in the ground, uh, but I would like to grow them in pots because they come from a warm climate originally. So they will uh, enjoy being indoors in my greenhouse. It'll get them off to a flying start and then I shall plant them out in um, a bathtub that um, we're having renovations done at the moment. So I have a bathtub on hand. Um, so I'm going to plant into the bathtub. I'm going to plant all these that I've been sent into that bathtub later on, probably halfway through May or maybe the beginning of June, depending on how well these have grown. So anyway, I'm going to pot them. These are five litre pots. The growing medium I will be using is about 20% coir compost, 40% old used compost that I put some blood, fish and bone in and 40% fresh compost. And the idea is that um, the fresh compost will give it the nutrients it needs first off and then the blood, fish and bone will kick in as it's growing. So um, what I'm going to do is fill up this pot and um, fill it up to about two thirds, enough so that the tuber fits in it nicely. And then I'm going to fill the rest of the pot up so that the tuber sits just below the surface of the compost. Before I plant this, I am just going to check each tuber to make sure it is nice and firm and there's no rotten bits on any of them. So I've got this bit here that I'm going to cut off because that's a bit squidgy. Well, not squidgy, but it's just not as firm as the other bits. So I'll put that in the compost and the rest of this looks good. So we'll get this planted up. So you can see here that it started to rot off at the end and it's a bit squidgy as opposed to this one which is really firm to the touch and um, is ideal for planting. So what I want to do now is half fill this pot with my compost mix. And then I want to check that the dahlia will fit into this size pot which it will do and then I want to make sure that that little bit is poking out of of the compost when I fill it and then just fill in and around the tuber Right, now give the pot a little shake to make sure that the compost is all in and around the tubers. And then we can just top it up a little bit more. That's looking good now. I just need to water it in so that it's not too um, too wet, but just moist. So that it's like a constantly watered, but not too saturated. Well, I'll get on and do the rest and hopefully this coming summer we'll have some lovely dahlias to look at and peonies and all the other things in my new bath. I've just popped them underneath the staging of my greenhouse and then some of them are on the shelving unit over here
I thought I'd just run through the varieties that I was sent. So I've got a Dahlia Luca Johanna, and I'll put the photos up to show you what they will look like. Dahlia Jack Black, or Black Jack even. A Phlox, Bright Eyes. Dahlia Leek Carey. Peonia Sorbet. Econops Beaches Blue. Salvia Purple Rain. Dahlia Rosilla. And Dahlia Frank Kafka. And then at the bottom, I've got some bulbs of, um, of different cottage garden collections. So they've got peonies, incovalia, estilbe and agapanthus. So looking forward to seeing those growing in my bathtub. So I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Charlotte from Taylor's Bulbs who kindly sent me that selection pack for me to try out. I can't wait to see how they look in the garden this year and all the pollinators they bring in. Hopefully it will make my vegetables grow so much better than they have done before. And um, if you're interested in looking to see what they have, I'll, um, I'll leave the website in my comments below section. So um, thank you very much. And if you haven't planted your dahlias yet, then get out and do it. And if you want to see anything else I'm up to in the garden, then please check out these videos that are circling around here somewhere. Um, so thank you for watching and hopefully I'll catch you on my next one. Lovely job. <laughs>